to put it in the vlog. It'll be so funny. Oh, no. I... French toast. French toast, yay! French toast. Mm. Not spaghetti and hot sauce. <laughs> hot dogs. And hot dogs. That's what we have for breakfast every morning in Haiti. Spaghetti, <laughs> hot sauce, and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. Yummy. I'm going to wait until you say I'm going to wait on me a shirt. Come on. Daddy, I'm gonna raise all you. I'm raising you. Oh, good morning. It's uh, log and church morning, and this little munchkin morning. Thanks for lifting my shirt up this munchkin morning. Having lots of fun. Waking up, got a really bad earache from something in Haiti, I don't know what it was. But uh, yeah, we're heading to church around noon to help set up for Harvest Summer Kids. And that's that. I'm going to make the lights go cray cray. Cray cray. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and we are all together as a family again, which feels really, really nice. And we are getting ready for a really busy week actually. So last week was camp in Haiti and this week is camp in Canada. <laughs> So our church is putting on um, a big Harvest Kids summer camp this week and it takes a lot of preparation and all that stuff and I'm going to be serving in one of the electives this year. We're doing um, a cooking elective for like kids like 9 to 11 years old and it's called Master Chef. So, oh I got hair in my mouth. So I'm just putting the finishing touches on that and then we have to go in like an hour or so to the church so we can set up. And then every day this week, we're gonna be at the church from eight in the morning till 4.30 or so in the afternoon. It's gonna be a really busy week. Heading in the church, setting up for Harvest Summer Kids. It's gonna be a busy week. Yep. What elective are you teaching, Mama? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is it called? Master Chef? Master Chef. What electives are you guys going to? Ben and Mia? I'm going to Nature lovers and tool time. <laughs> nature lovers and tool time. I'm doing music and Christmas in July. <laughs> music and Christmas in July. Sounds like fun. Because I did a nature one last year. I wanted to do it again. Oh, you liked it? Yeah, but it's, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. It's oh, always different. Yeah. What are you going to do, Bill? Oh, <laughs> Bill's going to hang out with me the whole week. Daddy elective. Daddy elective. <laughs> All right, so here's the stage. Can you see the extra touch I added? That Daddy just built in like an hour. <laughs> Looks cool. Look what the, look at the touches I added. Okay, show me I the touches. That. Cool. Is it okay? Hey guys. See ya. Hey, so I took the girl and there's. That looks cool. And the tape measure. And the hammer. That looks awesome. And the ladder. <laughs> what is that? That's a little dangerous for children. Alright. So we've literally just been here all afternoon long setting up for camp. So this is what Chris was doing. He was doing the stage. And I'm going to show you what I was doing. And this is what we're doing this week, Master Chef. Master Chef. So I'm going to show you what we're doing. I want to see what you set up. I set up the stage. Where's the light? <laughs> Go turn on the light on the other side. So this is our Baby. room. It it's going to be a little brighter than this, but basically there's going to be two cooking stations. And each day we're going to have like a different theme. So tomorrow's Mexican. So. We're gonna do cheesy quesadillas and yummy fajitas tomorrow. 
My friend Trina was the one who was like the oh, mastermind behind delicious. all this. I just Caramel helped her. Apples. And uh, all the kids are going to get an apron and they're going to get to decorate them and they're going to have like little bandanas for their hair to keep their hair back. And we have a different menu every day and all that stuff. So that's what we're doing at camp this week and that's what we were doing for the past few hours. So you guys excited for camp? Yeah. Excited. Daddy's luggage arrived. Woo -woo. Look what Mia made me. Mia, it's so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. We're twinsies now. Aw, thank you. What are we gonna do now? Have a walk. We're gonna go on a walk. Take Ruby on a good walk. We are on an evening walk and we're just letting Ruby run around to get some exercise. The kids as well, they were trying to go to the church today while we were getting stuff ready for our camp this week. So here's the cute little fam. <laughs> ben was on Ruby poop duty, so he ran to the park to throw something out. <laughs> um, but yeah, this week's gonna be pretty busy for especially me because um, I'm volunteering at the camp. So from eight till like 4.30 every day, that's what I'll be doing. So Chris is gonna be watching Joel. So he'll be, he said he's gonna make it like the Joel vlog this week. Um, Cause Monday to Friday, um, we're all gonna be at camp. So it'll be a lot of Joel and daddy this week. So we'll see what they get up to. How you doing daddy? Doing good. Tell the vlog about your earache. Got an earache <laughs> from Haiti. Well, it's from a pool, maybe not from Haiti. Yeah, well, the pool was in Haiti. <laughs> so we'll see. Hopefully it goes away. Yeah. Does anyone have any tips for healing ear or ear infections or earaches faster? Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't like what? I do too. Playing with a stick? What are you doing? Here, I'll get it for you. No, break. No, break this one. Why? Break this one. No, just use that one. Whoa, good job breaking it. Good night everyone. Thanks for watching again today. Got all my Haiti stuff cleaned up, packed away, and got my bag back from the airport. And we got lots done at church and just hung out as a family. And a few things I noticed today. Well, carpet was one. Walking on carpet was good. Um, air conditioning. Smooth roads. And uh, a few other things I can't remember, but I still got this really weird ear thing happening. Well, hopefully that goes away, and it don't doesn't get any any serious, any more serious. So that's that. Early morning tomorrow with the whole family getting up and going to church. That's going to be the same every day this week. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and we love you.